In their investigation, Crawford Force Sarah Stinson actually out on scene for us this morning. And Sarah, they've had that stretch closed for quite a, quite a while now. Yes, yeah, several hours they've had Hesperian Boulevard blocked for several blocks behind me, and that is because three people were shot there currently at the hospital recovering with non-life-threatening injuries. It happened at a birthday celebration at a banquet hall somewhere down the road behind me. Let's look at a map first so you can see exactly where we're standing here at 15200 Hesperian Boulevard. That is where this happened, and at uh, first check San Leandro police responded to a call with loud music. Somebody complained about that loud music at 11 o'clock last night. Officers learned there's a birthday party going on at a banquet hall and they told the security on staff on site to turn it down. Then around two o'clock in the morning, San Leandro police received several 911 calls of a shooting at the same location. An officer happened to be a few blocks away and responded within seconds. Officers discovered a huge crowd leaving the establishment, but no one would tell them what was going on. When they went inside, they found over 30 shell casings. So you can see, I mean, this looks like a gun battle that was going on. And uh, fortunately, no more than three people were shot. Those people, fortunately, at the hospital, they brought themselves to the hospital with the, those gunshot wounds, and they have non-life-threatening wounds. Now, there's no information yet about the shooting or shooters or why this happened at a birthday celebration. But as you can see, a live look, this is an active scene here in San Leandro. And I expect this is going to be going on for a while. You're going to want to avoid Hesperian Boulevard altogether from Thornley to Spring Lake. Again, that's Thornley to Spring Lake. And uh, we'll be here continuing to follow the latest, of course, police trying to figure out what all went down at that birthday party. For now, reporting live in San Leandro, Sarah Stinson, back to you. Thanks a lot, Sarah.